Lee Kwang Su was everybody's favorite in The Running Man, his unique humor and kind heart made everyone his fan. However, he always dreamed of becoming an actor, but it was not easy for him. Here is the story of Lee Kwang Su. Lee Kwang Su was born on July 14, 1985, in Namyangju, Jeonggi Province, South Korea, to a rich business household. He grew up in his birth town with his parents and a sister who happened to be two years younger than him. He is said to have grown rapidly in height since he was in his third year of middle school and that as his height grew, he became more popular among the women. Kwang Su mentioned in an interview that he was an emotionally distant kid who never quite liked the way he looked. He was obese all through elementary school and lost weight only after he entered middle school, and by high school, he already had a model-like physique. He experienced a new surge of confidence once he lost all the weight, looked better than most of his classmates, and eventually became the leader of his boy group. Because he was so tall, he received several offers to play basketball and volleyball, and he also received offers to work as a model. Afterwards, he started modeling during her second year of high school. However, he later revealed on Running Man that he had only walked the runway once. As a kind, Lee was obsessed with art, especially drawing cartoons and animated characters that he saw on TV. This early hobby sparked a deep interest in him about art, and his parents encouraged this, but when Lee grew up a bit and talked to them about the possibility of a career in the field, they weren't too happy. As a result, Lee just limited drawing to a hobby for the rest of his life. When he was in his third year of high school, he joined a theater company and felt an unknown thrill in acting, and from that moment on, he decided to become an actor. However, the theater club went bankrupt not long after Lee Kwang Su joined, and in great disappointment, he decided to enlist in the military in 2005 at the age of 21 and was discharged in 2007 after serving. Lee Kwang Su started modeling once again out of the military service in 2007 and got some lucrative modeling offers in the very early stages of his career. At the same time, he kept auditioning for roles in TV and films and made his debut with the 2008 sitcom Here He Comes. His performance was noticed, and quickly after that, he appeared in High Kick Through the Roof, another comedy series. But one advertisement that made Kwang Soo known around Korea was KT show CF. With his weird appearance and movements, he made a lot of people laugh and be interested in him. He appeared in a few more less significant roles, but his fate changed with a stint in the form of Running Man, a variety show. Lee joined the cast of the show in 2010, and his character became one of the most loved characters in the entire show very quickly. Due to the show, his popularity skyrocketed, earning him the title The Prince of Asia. The award season also showered Lee with honors such as SBS's New Star Award and the Best Newcomer in Variety. According to Lee Kwang Su's interview, he started Running Man unexpectedly when he was a rookie, and Running Man lasted longer than he imagined it would. As well, he mentioned that when he started Running Man, he felt very cautious and acted shy, all because he didn't want to look rude or make somebody mad. But with time, other Running Man members helped him relax and show his funny side. He dominated 2012 with his impeccable comic timing with the comedy show's wonderful radio and All About My Life. He publicly spoke about how he wanted to explore the darker side of his existence and said that he would love to play a negative character on screen. His wish came true with the 2013 show Goddess of Fire, a drama where he played a villainous prince. He forayed into darker roles with a neo-noir thriller titled Confession in 2014, which told the story about three Korean youngsters whose lives take a drastic turn after they get involved in a murder mystery. Lee later played a key role in drama It's Okay, That's Love. In 2015, his appearance in the film Collective Invention earned him a widespread acclaim. The film, which revolved around drug abuse, was premiered at the Toronto International Film Festival and Lee later said that walking on the red carpet of the event was like a dream come true for him. In 2016, Lee starred in TVN's Entourage, a South Korean remake of the American series. He was then cast in the KBS sitcom The Sound of Your Heart, based on the webtoon of the same name. The web drama was a success in both South Korea and China, gaining 100 million on Sohu TV and ranked number one among Korean dramas on the site. In 2018, Lee starred in No Hikyung Slice of Life with playing a police officer who tries to uphold values in everyday life and maintain justice. The drama was a success and Lee received rave reviews for his performance. However, the same year he got into a huge controversy that even Running Man got a warning by the Korea Communications Standards Commission. 
On one of the Running Man episodes, Lee Kwang Soo called guest Hee Jong of AOA a gold digger, which the production staff decided to caption as him calling her a snake. The word gold digger became especially controversial since the breakup of the Me Too movement in Korea, as some victims were accused of coming forward only after the money. Gold digger has always been a negative term, but it has become even more derogatory after some anti-feminists dubbed Me Too victims as gold diggers. Lee Kwang Soo also yelled at everyone to shut up when they discussed his fish human character from Collective Invention. As soon as this episode aired, viewers grew uncomfortable with Lee Kwang Soo's language and left comments after comments on Running Man's website forum. Lee Kwang Soo, please watch what you say. Lee Kwang Soo should apologize. Please exclude Lee Kwang Soo from the cast. Some even petitioned to have him sentenced to death. The petition said, the caption showed it as snake. This shows the production staff realized the word gold digger is wrong too. At a sensitive time like this, when Me Too allegations have not been fully investigated yet, Lee Kwang Soo should not be throwing the word gold digger around like that. The Korea Communication Standards Commission called for a meeting to review the episode in question and concluded the program would receive a warning. Even if the program is meant to be entertaining, no TV show should air content that jeopardizes gender equality. In 2019, Lee starred in the comedy Inseparable Brothers. He won his first Bexang Arts Awards Award for Best Supporting Actor for his outstanding portrayal of Park Dong-gu, who suffers from severe intellectual disabilities, in Inseparable Brothers. On February 15, 2020, Lee was involved in a car accident, which put all of his activities on hold until his recovery from an ankle injury. Later in June, it was confirmed that he would be starring in The Pirates, The Last Royal Treasure. On April 27, 2021, Lee's agency announced that he would be stepping down from Running Man to focus on treatment and recovery from the accident. During the last episode, Lee Kwang Soo read out loud a heartfelt letter to all his colleagues, apologizing repeatedly for unexpectedly leaving the program due to health issues. Thank you, our members, for making me become who I am and for making me feel like I have a family. I am so grateful. And I apologize. I apologize again and again. I don't think I did well, but I tried my best over the past 11 years. Every week, not a single member of the cast fails to do their best while forsaking their physical bodies. Please look forward to their future and give them lots of love. Thank you, since leaving Running Man, he has starred in Busted and a year-end medley. In 2022, Kwang Soo starred in the TVN drama The Killer's Shopping List, marking his return to the small screen after four years. This year he didn't appear in any movies or dramas, it could be that he was just enjoying his time with his girlfriend, Lee Sunbin. He would make a special guest appearance on Yoo jae YouTube channel and is one of the main cast members on Reap What You So Lee Kwang Soo is quite an easygoing person on the set and everyone who has worked with him mentions his infectious energy and says that working with him is a great experience. Hopefully, we gonna see him in the future more in dramas and movies. Thank you for watching and see you next time.